Hello and welcome back to another Smoke Signal Synopsis. In this video, we'll be looking at what stories can be found in the September 1st, 2023 edition of the Smoke Signals newspaper. You can find these stories now in the full PDF at smokesignals.org. On the front page, the Grand Ronde Education Summit returned to the Spear Mountain Casino Event Center on Friday, August 25th. You can read more about that summit continued on page 10. Also on the front page, you'll see photos from the tribe's early childhood education program graduation. We also have a video from that event on our YouTube channel and Facebook page. The last three on the front page share six emergency services personnel were honored on Thursday, August 17th for saving the life of a man who went into cardiac arrest at Spear Mountain Casino on May 20th. You can read more about that life-saving event continued on page 8. Election season is upon us, and if you're still having a hard time deciding on who to vote for, you can listen to the Smoke Signals podcast, where we interview all six candidates this year. You can find where to listen to those interviews on page two. Tribal Council approved three supplemental budgets during its Wednesday, August 23rd meeting. You can read more about those three supplemental budgets and other actions from that meeting on page five. Around 3,000 people enrolled in the Grand Ronde Tribe's health insurance plan may have had their personal health information and date of birth disclosed to unauthorized entities, according to an August 23rd letter sent out. You can read more about that data breach on page 5. United States Representative Andrea Salinas visited the tribal campus on Monday, August 28th for the first time since being elected to Oregon's newest congressional district in 2022. You can see photos and more from that visit on page 6. Former tribal employee Rick Anderson moved to Maui after working for the tribe for 20 years. Anderson's house was spared in the recent fire on Tuesday, August 8th, but he speaks about the community's loss on page 9. The recent 2023 contest powwow drew thousands to Grand Ronde on Friday, August 18th through Sunday, August 20th. Before the powwow began, the weekend kicked off with the 2023-2024 Grand Ronde Royalty Pageant. We have several photos from that event, plus a video on our YouTube channel and Facebook page. The last story we share in this edition reports the Spear Mountain Community Fund's youth grant makers spent the summer reading grant applications, visiting organizations, and concluding the summer with a check present presentation on Monday, August 14th. You can read more about that story on page 11, plus find photos in there, as well as a video on our YouTube channel and Facebook page. And that was your Smoke Signal synopsis. We have a walking on announcement on page 17, as well as photos and briefs throughout the paper. Be sure to check those out now at the PDF available at smokesignals.org. I'm Kamaya, the social media digital journalist for Smoke Signals.